for learning purpose we have defined the script tag for react for react dom and also for the babel but this is just for learning or you can say just for a very small project where you just want to have very small feature of react but to get the full power of react you actually need to create a react application and to create a react application using create react app i'm going to the website and in this website if i go to get started you can see we have this add react to website from this we have actually added these cdns but just below that one you can see we have a create new react app so let's go there and now you can see we have a different way of installing or creating react application for that it is very important you must have a node which is greater than 8.10 or npm which is greater than equal to 5.6 so let's see what version i have so i just open this terminal here or you can use the built-in terminal like this one let's use this one also and now i can say note and giving the version so it is 14.4.0 and the npm version is 6.14.4 that's good if you don't have these things then what you need to do you just need to go to the node.js.org website yes this is not a node.js course but to start or to get the npm in your system you need to download the node current version is 12.18.0 which is a lts and the latest version is 14.0 i highly recommend to have the lts version because this is stable and bug free so you can simply install it download it and then install it after installing i'm sure that you will have these kind of version names and if you don't have you can write to me or you can just restart your system then it will be surely there when you have these things then you can move into the npx so npx is just you can say a way to run this create react app directly in your terminal without installing this command so i can just say npx create react app and the name of the app which is my app in our case so let's say here i'm going to firstly uh, let's do one thing let's go here and uh, we have this uh, react js and i'm going to create a new terminal and then i can say npx create react app and then app name is my react my react so if i hit enter now you can see it will going to install everything for us and now it has started downloading things while this is installing let me show you a different way to re to use this create react app maybe sometime this npx doesn't work for you what you need to do in that case in that case you can go to the create react app this is a github repository and in this one if you scroll down a little bit then yes you have a npx create react app but you can also install this create react app command line via this npm install globally create react app after using this you just need to run create react app and the name of the app without npx so either you can use npx create react app my app or you can globally install create react app and directly use create react app okay so that's good and now let's go to the terminal and now it says it is installed lots of thing is installed here and i can simply close this terminal 
and then I can see we have this uh, my react okay so this my react is good and I'm going to open this with my VS code and everything you will find on the github repository and the source code actually so yes it is done so this is actually having lots of things first it has yarn.lock maybe you will not have this yarn why because i have installed yarn so if i say yarn version it's 1.22.4 but maybe you don't have that so don't worry about this like if you don't have yarn.lock the important is package.json in this package.json you can see we are having this react react dom and react script we already know about react and react dom from our previous experience but this react script is new actually it just going to start a simple server where we have a hot reloading and it will start at localhost 3000 and then we can simply interact with our application in real time then we also have some testing system for our react application but this is uh, the testing part is uh, not for now maybe later we will cover it then we also have some development things some browser list but we don't have to care about these things the most important thing is the script a script we have the start a start is just for the development purpose so how we can run that script we can simply say npm run start and if you hit enter this will going to compile everything from your source directory and then it will going to open the server in localhost 3000 and you can see localhost 3000 is ready i can go there and we have a nice little logo of animated logo of react and it says edit source app.js and save to reload i told you that this is going to give you hot reload but what is hot reload means so as it says let's say we are going let's see what it is saying it's saying go to source and app.js and save something so i go to app.js and instead of this thing i can say done and if i save this i have saved that so now if i go you can see it is instantly re-rendered this is called hot reload as you save the file react server which is running here in our terminal is picking up that changes and then it quickly re-render everything on your development server so once again if i remove that done from here like this save this you can see it is compiling it says compiled successful and then it has hot reload our application so yes the done is gone from there now what are other things and why is there package.json what is public directory everything we will learn in the next episode